Hi there. All in all, you're just another stone in the wall is a lovely idea played by Torre Repetto against Grunfeld in 1925 with an impenetrable fortress known as the Stone Wall in the Dutch defence. The game went d4, black e6, knight f3 is played first instead of c4 and black enters into the Dutch defence with f5. Common treatment against the Dutch is to Fianchetto the king's bishop, so g3 is met by knight f6, bishop g2 and d5. Black's going to play the stone wall with the c pawn going to go to c6 and uh, all the black central pawns are going to be on white squares so potential weaknesses on those uh, dark squares but black's going to solidify and hold on and this really is some kind of impenetrable fortress a very hard and tough opening to battle against after white castles and bishop d6 c4 and black consolidates here with c6 supporting the center so queen c2 is met by castles and white chooses here to play b3 the idea being the bishop's heading for b2 to support the knight which is gonna go into that hole on e5 but black also has a supported hole on e4 so knight jumps into e4 bishop b2 is met by knight to d7 and now white jumps into his hole on e5 queen f6 and now um, black's threatening to win a pawn with uh, probably knight takes on e5 so white counters by playing f3 and already white is actually a little bit in trouble now because black plays knight takes on e5 and it's very difficult for white to hold the position white's best move before capturing one of the knights the knight on e4 the knight on e5 would be to first play the move c5 closing and interlocking the pawns hitting the bishop we got three of black's minor pieces being hit and this would be evaluated at more or less equal instead of c5 if f takes on e4 that would be met by knight g4 and white will get nothing from e5 now looks like a decent fork to the queen and the bishop because queen h6 will give black advantages h2 is hanging and uh, if h3 would be played the knight can certainly jump into to e3 so instead of white playing f takes on e4 if white plays d takes on e5 then black has an in-between move a zwishy by playing bishop c5 check first and when the king moves over to the corner on h1 the queen is still under fire but black ignores that by sacrificing on g3 knight takes g3 is going to be winning for black here because after that check if h takes on g3 then queen h6 is going to be decisive so this has been all in all you're just another stone in the wall in the stonewall variation of the dutch defense from the game Torre repetto against grunfeld in 1925 thanks for watching bye bye